Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about a very important and critical topic that is job loss or job layoffs. So in 2023, Google cut 12,000 employees that is approximately 6% of its total workforce. Middle and senior management leaders, upper management employees, everyone lost their jobs. And now the Google CEO Sundar Pichai says there is more to come at the start of 2024. So why are these tech giants cutting up the jobs and sacking up the employees? And what can you do? And what can you learn? What are the new skills that you can learn to solidify your position coming up in this video? And to start with my friends, I just want to say it's not just the Google that is doing the layoff, it's other companies as well. For example, Amazon Twitch to cut 500 employees, Microsoft is cutting 1900 people in the gaming division, then we have PayPal who is cutting 9% of their total workforce, Discord to cut 17% and similar is in the case of Meta and then we have X which is earlier known as Twitter and then we also have Yahoo, Zoom, Cognizant, Citibank, Disney, Ford, Nike and it's not just these global giant Indian companies like Baiju's and Paytm's, they have all fired up the people and the list just goes on. So friends, let me start with a little history lesson here. The word layoff was coined in 8080s to mean rest or relaxation. But then there is no relaxing thing about the same as of now. Now let's try to crack down and understand why exactly are the companies firing up so that you can be better prepared for the near future. So first of all, my friends, the first and the foremost reason why companies are firing up is that the companies were on a hiring spree during the pandemic. When the COVID struck, people were locked down in their homes and they relied more and more on the technology and the tech companies took the opportunity to expand and they hired people and more and more workforce was captured and lot of capital expenditure and investment was being done by these tech giants. And so far so good, but then the world started to open after the pandemic and people started to join back to the office, coming out of their homes and all these huge investments now become the liabilities for all these tech giants. And as if that was not enough, then arrived the artificial intelligence and automation. Although it's a savior as well and we will discuss how can you leverage the AI to do the same jobs in much lesser time in the later part of this video. But for now, just understand that the company started to automate the systems. What people and the large workforce was doing it before, AI is doing it now and in most cases better in a faster way. And in case you're still not convinced with the magnitude of the layoffs, let me throw some more data. The language app Duolingo laid off 10% of its contractors. It cited artificial intelligence as the reason. And also the streaming platform Twitch is cutting down 500 people and Citibank is cutting approximately 20,000 people. And then my friends, the other reason is operational efficiency. And recently, Indian tech giant Wipro laid off so many employees and as they mentioned, they are doing the layoffs of the middle management employees. So to have a more direct and faster decision making and quite similar reasons were also given by the Google when they are firing up their employees. And not just that my friends, other Indian tech giants are no different. And friends, this situation is not going to improve anytime soon. The outlook for 2024 looks bearish, leading Indian and global tech giants expecting less revenue. Now friends, companies can have hundreds of reasons to hire and fire, but it's important for us that we focus on what can we do to build a strong position, what technology should we learn and what are the skills that you can acquire so that no artificial intelligence can replace it, at least not in the near future. So I would like to start this section where we understand what are the technologies and what are the skills that you can learn to solidify your position with something that everyone is talking about and probably the number one reason for these tech layoffs and yes you guessed it right that is artificial intelligence so friends artificial intelligence although some people are regarding it as the problem but i see it as a new avenue where you can learn and earn a lot of money and save your jobs and you know what friends i see a wide spectrum of people in this artificial intelligence realm so one set of people are those who are just oblivious to the artificial intelligence advancement and they are like just artificial intelligence is crap is not going to come it's just a bubble and it will burst soon and i'm super safe and not impacted by artificial intelligence I will do what I have been doing so far. So these kind of people are on one end point of this spectrum. The other end point is taken over by the people who are super paranoid with the artificial intelligence. And they are thinking that artificial intelligence is going to take on humanity and this will kill all the jobs and I will be dead soon and there will be no job left for us and soon there will be a doomsday. 
But then my perspective here, my friends, it's a little different. See, I see both the perspective and both the endpoints are too extreme. And to be honest, they are not very positive thoughts and not very progressive ones. And I would rather myself be in the middle of this spectrum. And I like to think AI or the artificial intelligence as a personal assistance, someone who is always there for me to help do my work, help me in writing, content creation, learning, jobs and everything else. And friends, that's the core thought and the belief that I have taken towards artificial intelligence. I'm not the one who is completely oblivious to the artificial intelligence or someone who is super paranoid about the artificial intelligence so i am the one who believes artificial intelligence is here to stay and it is here to stay for helping us and you know what friends artificial intelligence there is a silver lining as well so on one side companies may be firing the people but on the other hand the companies are also hiring up the people now as per the reports google wants to use ai in the daily operations in the fields like ad sales department and the second is customer support so it's very clear that the ai is a double-sided sword one side it will take the jobs who are not prepared with the ai skills but on the other hand it's a boom for those who are smart enough to join the ai bandwagon and are sharpening their skills on the same and friends tech revolutions are not new just like the way we moved from the typewriters to the computers and now computers to the ai there will be a lot of new jobs and no questions about that but we have to understand that these new set of jobs will be for the people who are ready to invest their time and efforts in learning new technologies especially artificial intelligence so the machines will take over the mundane jobs and what kind of workers will be in demand? Clearly the tech roles top the list. AI and machine learning specialists, they will find many takers. So will be the business analyst specialist people who study and analyze big data, they will be in demand. So friends, artificial intelligence should be one of your key focus area in 2024, no matter what job profile you are in. You can be a business analyst, you can be a business manager or a project manager or a DevOps engineer or a developer. Artificial intelligence is just everywhere. And the second opportunity that I want to discuss with you is security specialists. And these are the people who can protect the organizations from the hackers and the breachers. And needless to say, as the technology rises and the artificial intelligence rises, it will pose new challenges of hacking. And that is the reason this will create a huge opportunity for the security specialist. And now my friends, the third skill I want to discuss with you is problem solving. And friends, as I just said, AI will be able to replace a lot of repetitive tasks, but still it is very difficult for the AI to replace at least for a reasonable future, the problem solving skill. And just so you understand my friends and get the broader perspective, problem solving skills refer to the ability to find effective solution to the challenges or the obstacles that companies are facing these days. And this involves wide variety of roles and responsibilities. For example, the problem solving, analyzing it, and then you consider the potential solution and selecting the best course of action. And strong problem solving skills are valuable in various aspects of life, including personal, professional, and academic settings. And friends, to sum up the problem problem solving skill, I can just say that this skill is all about understanding the problem, research, gathering information, generate alternative solution, evaluate the options, make a decision and implement the solution. And finally, my friends, the fourth skill I want to discuss with you is cloud computing. And yes, all of you know that the cloud computing is one of the fastest growing fields in the tech industry with high demand for the skills professionals and learning cloud technologies can open doors to the exciting and well-paying career opportunities in various industries from software development to IT administration to data science and cybersecurity. And you know what friends, how I am preparing for 2024? Well, I have combined both cloud computing and artificial intelligence. And to start with, I'm preparing for the exam AI 102 or Microsoft Azure Artificial Intelligence 102. And that combines both artificial intelligence and cloud computing. And yes, my friends, just so you know, in the upcoming videos, I will bring a lot of AI 102 related questions, how we can prepare for it, what are the best learning materials and the courses that you can opt for. All of these and much more will be coming in the upcoming videos. And not just that, my friends, I'm working on the videos with the five projects that you can do to learn Microsoft Azure. And in all these projects, my friends, I have designed all these projects in such a manner that you will understand all the Azure services, 
basic core concepts, how to do practical labs on Microsoft Azure, really get a hand around the Microsoft concepts, you know, not just to pass the Microsoft Azure certification, but to actually really work and build a career in Microsoft Azure. So please keep an eye on this space as I bring a lot of practical learning in Microsoft Azure. And yes, my friends, in case you really want to do some courses on artificial intelligence, problem solving, cloud computing, I've got some links for you. And these links are for the top courses in Udemy, Coursera and Skillshare. And of course, you will get a handsome discount on all these courses. The links are shared in the description box. And to sum up this video, I just want to say my friends that 2024 will not be an easy year for the tech professionals. There will be a lot of pain and layoffs throughout this year, but surely we can do a lot of things to make us better positioned by learning new technologies and skills that are here to stay. And friends, this video is an open discussion video. So please share your thoughts, share your experiences during these years, 2023, 2024. Are you being hit by any of the layoffs? Or what are the new technologies that you want me to cover? Or what are the technologies that you are learning to be better prepared? Please share your thoughts as this can help a lot of people. So it's my request. Please share your thoughts in the comment section. We learn from each other. We help each other and we grow together. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.